morning. Good. for several years here. The first piece of equipment we've got here is an ultralight four cart. Uh, it is a, it's a made by Family Farm Innovations. It used to be uh, pioneer equipment. They revised it a little bit. It's available with shafts or a tongue, uh, air tires or steel wheels, uh, lightweight and, ha and handy for the small operation. Uh, seat. They got a self-leveling seat on there, uh, which they revised that quite a bit, improved the, the uh, formation of the self-leveling seat. This seat is not self-leveling, but they have they do have options of a self-leveling seat. Uh, the, The piece of equipment that is behind it is a five foot flip over cover crop roller. No hydraulics needed. Price is $4,100. Uh, your local dealer is the Shipshe Farm Supply or Bullets Machinery uh, and various dealers across the US, Canada, and Europe. Uh, this tool is designed that it actually works a little bit better in uh, no-till soil. But you can use cereal rye, you can let your cereal rye get five, you can let the cereal rye get five, six feet tall uh, and uh, let it get in the bloom stage or head it out and it'll make a perfect mat and keep your pumpkins and all your produce very clean. And it's got a natural aliopathic effect, which means it kills weeds as, as it rains on it. The leaves and the stems will keep the weeds down. The bottom on this plow is the KV bottom. is very heavy steel built and will grab the soil and pulverize it for the ultimate seat bed. 
Note, all bigger units have more row of time. <laughs> Uh, this time we have uh, uh, Daniel and Trevor Beachy uh, team coming in here. Uh, he's also using the uh, Woodside uh, Harness Shop uh, mile harness again, the same as Daniel Schrock, uh, made by Woodside Harness. ADD returning without dragging. Front and back teeth adjust separately. We've got two different adjustments on the front and the back teeth. <laughs> around as you just seen how they did it uh, upside down to transport from one uh, field to the next spreader with poly tub is what you got on the fertilizer that he's spreading is nothing that will contaminate anybody it happens to be oats is what he is spreading today This fertilizer applicator puts your fertilizer where you need it, under the plastic in the row. Um, the Easy Trail fertilizer, uh, the Easy Trail plastic layer has really improved its its uh, in, in layer in the last 20 years. Uh, see that? 
them on the inside by the vendor booth uh, for more information. Um, trans, uh, this one transplants your vegetables with a water wheel transplanter for better plant setting with spikes to punch the hole. So you plug right in there. They are available with uh, quite a different, quite a few options of the of the wheel spacings on the holes. Uh, they do have, I think they got planter. Yesterday, one of them commented that he thinks his boys has planted have planted close to a million plants. So this is Daniel Beachy as the Teamster again. The harness is by Woodside Harness. It's a uh, bio uh, harness there, a good local uh, made harness out here. Uh, just out. Okay, the next one coming in. This is uh, David Fry. He is a... Uh, uh, David Fry is, is uh, using the Troyer Enterprise uh, Brahma web harness, uh, local made over here. Uh, Topeka and Millersburg uh, Tour Enterprise. See that they're going to bring us on the inside for the uh, local harness. All these eveners were brought over here by the uh, a lot of the machinery and parts over here by the Pika. So any eveners you see used out here. I got a different shoey, totally different horse. We just did the back end. We did not do anything with, with the front end. He's about four inches wider. This one knocked his knees. 
or uh, knocked his, his ankles beforehand. Now we just put the, the other shoes are back on. We put a wedge pad on because we, this was like uh, every 15 minutes. Between the turn around and things like that, it'll happen. We're always worried about kickback. So if you stay on this side of that line, you're reduced. Made my way through school with that system and then in uh, 1994 I actually got an opportunity to start farming and uh, we started out in the hog business but if many of you older fellows would remember 1998 the hog market collapsed and we had to do something besides raising hogs so we started out we'd already had always had a farm flock of 25, 30 years, but uh, we sold those. Relaxing under the apple tree? Yes, shade. Shade, a little breeze. Woohoo! I wasn't as much concerned about the breeze as I was just some shade. Yes, I am.
could sell a lamb, let's say I sold a 100 pound lamb that yielded 50 pounds of meat, I could take the money from that 50 pounds of edible lamb meat and I could buy 100 pounds of beef or 100 pounds of pork for the same money. And it's pretty good to eat. And so we did a lot of that just because it made financial sense to eat. That. Hey, thank you, Dale. Let's give him a hand. Uh, he's got a lot of experience. And that goes for the dog and myself. So never is it tapped out as far as ability. Um, so basically, it's always a learning curve. So with that, I'm just going to go work some ducks here for a few minutes, and then we'll go over how everything works and how we do it. Uh, there is also, I don't know if there'll be another one. As you can see there, we're, we do two different ways. We go clockwise and counterclockwise, just like a clock uh, hanging on the wall. Basically, if we have that dog to where I can... All of our dogs are on voice commands as well as whistle commands. Uh, we start on voice commands first, uh, and we switch them over to whistles. That way, if it's way out in the field, the whistle carries farther, they can hear the whistle farther. Um, and then we also try to put each dog on a different set of whistles so we can work more than one dog at a time. So if I was to work three or four dogs here at the same time, I would use whistles only. That way I could tell each dog exactly where to be. Uh, if I just use voice commands, uh, whenever I give a clockwise direction, they're all going to go clockwise. If I give a question and answer, they Danny, come by. Come by One of the main things that we really try to emphasize and stress is that we have
थे थे हाँ थोड़ी भाई ये थोड़ी ये काम थे थे राम राम ने थोड़ी थे थे ना सभी भाई सभी भाई बंद सभी भाई बंद सभी भाई वो थे थे राम राम सभी भाई हो गया ना हमें बोले आये थे थे काम सभी काम काम सिसे ये थे थे राम राम ने सिसे वन डे वन डे ओ आये थे थे राम राम ने काम सिसे ना सभी भाई सभी भाई ना मेरी भाई ना वो आये हमें ना थोड़े डैम दे वन मॉल थोड़े डैम दे हमें ना थोड़े � This 
Pony Animals who can be expressed in their work in both driving and riding animals. Here today are Gypsy Banners from Feathered Fortunes in Upland, Indiana. Feathered Fortunes, uh, Fortunes offers training app coming forward for sale. The first stuff in the Netherlands was founded in 1879 in Friesland. The American Dutch Harness Horse Association, founded in 2003, realizes the importance of the type of horse that has thrilled people and audience for years. Through the Foundation Stock of Dutch Breeders Division, the high stepper exists within the EDA and its members. Okay, now the Morgans are coming through the hole. Uh, the Morgan Horse is one of the earliest breeds developed in the United States. Morgan Horses served many roles in the 19th century, being used as coach horses and for harness racing as general riding animals, and as cavalry horses during the Civil War. Today they are used as pony horses. Our goal is to sell them at public auctions, but we will sell some private as well. Uh, Marcus Yoder is doing the same thing, raising poles and selling his driving horses. Marcus Lee is driving one of these, and Oak Ridge Martin Cloud is driving one as well. Just keep your folks in here, there. Okay, Amy. Alrighty, the one out in front right now is BBM.